Hello Lilas, welcome back to my channel. Guys, if you're new to this channel, go ahead and smash that subscribe button, click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram. My Instagram name is Miss Serenity underscore Smith. And also, if you want to join the chat box, make sure you do so by clicking the link in the description bar if you don't see a join now button next to your subscribe button you do have to be at least 18 years old to join the chatterbox and it is a dollar and 99 cents per month um today i am showing two of my babies my silicone babies um together which is the andrew sculpt by mesa said and the um louisa sculpt by lillian breedville both are painted by me i will soon root uh winter so andrew kept his name of his his sculpt name which is drew andrew and i call him drew and louisa name is winter so um i am going to strip him down and just put him in a diaper only just to show them in size comparison a little bit for you guys and also just talk about a little uh, self-care for our dolls and some of the things that i have been surprised when I seen them done. Now, keep in mind, this is not a video to judge those who choose to do these things with their babies um, because it's absolutely their choice. It's their money. Oh my gosh, I don't know how, let me see. Cause I can't get to Drew. <laughs> He's too far over. It's a awkward. All right. I'm going to take Drew. I'm going to switch Drew over to this side. Anyway, they right there. I want to move her over here. Whoa, whoa. Okay. Now, I'm going to put him right here so that I can get to him. And I'm going to see if I can turn the camera over more so you guys can. All right. So, yeah, so... He's 17 and a half inches. She is 19 inches, I think. Um, so, 19. So, I think she's 19 to 20 inches. But, yeah. So, this is see, his little head is <laughs> compared to her little head. But, anyway. Um, yeah. Sometimes I'm like, oh, baby. Y'all be doing way, 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 way too much. Um... But that's just my personal opinion. I've seen people um, with the drinking wets. So she has a drinking wet. He does not. Um, I've seen them put like go and buy actual formula. Which I don't have a problem with that. Or using the cans for props. I don't have a problem with that. Some people I know they do it and pretend like they're giving it to them. And then they give them fake. You know a fake a bottle with fake milk in it. And it don't they don't let the baby really drink it. But I have literally seen people actually feed the baby's formula. You know that formula stinks so bad. I I hated it on my real babies when it got on them under their necks or on their clothes. They had to come out of that stuff. Much less to sit inside your doll. Oh my gosh. So I think that, you know. And then when something starts going wrong with the baby, they contact the artist or they say, Something was wrong with the drinking wet or if it clog up or it get defective. You, I mean, you just, some of those things, you you bring it on yourself. Drinking wet systems should only be used with water. Um, the other thing I've seen people do is, and this is a big one, but I know some people are going to yell at me about this, but putting like coconut oil and all that stuff in the hair and it's so funny because people will be like well um i got an ethnic doll or a a doll so what kind of products do i need to use for hair it's still mohair all of it is mohair it didn't come from a black baby they don't have a black scalp i mean it's like and i've said this before it's like baby that hair is not gonna grow it don't need no stuff for eight you don't have to grease the scalp like your auntie. Sit down here, let me grease that scalp. You you don't you don't you don't have to do that, baby. It's 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 mohair. And the hair is came from the same goat, sheep, whatever it is that they get the mohair from. 
that they got it from the last time when you put it in the white baby head. So you're talking about you using coconut oil. It's really good for the black babies. Girl, let me find out. <laughs> they got black goats and white goats. <laughs> so it's just, you know, it's just funny. Like you got to think about this stuff. I don't like all that oil. I'd be afraid of it against their paint and stuff. So, and then the other thing is, um, you know, the different powders with um, aloe vera and this and that, you know, essential oils and all that. And it's like, why are you putting that stuff on these babies? I even, years ago, I never forget this one, one girl used to do this video. She would put, um... She would give her baby a bath and then she would put lotion. She would put lotion on her doll, on her silicone baby. She would lotion it. I was like, OMG. I could not believe she was doing that. It was crazy. Like, and she literally videoed it. So it was no joke. It was no, let me pretend I'm putting lotion on it. No, she was really putting lotion on it. So, like, all these different things is just not needed nor is it good for your um nor is it good for your 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 dolls so um like i said if you're a person that really want to take care of your dolls and keep them for a long time then you know this is a newborn diaper by the way guys he's he's supposed to fit like creamy diapers but i put him on i'll we'll put him on this newborn diaper um if you really want to protect and take care of your dog but enjoy it, just, you know, try not to do different things that will damage it. It's okay to give it a, a bath here and there, but try to use just water. Um, really, the bath is not so much to, like, bathe them or give them a, a, a baby scent or anything. It's mostly to rinse off the access lint, um, dust, whatever. Some people don't even ever bathe their babies, period. They just, like, you know wipe them off with a little cloth or you know dust their eyes stuff like that so and i think that's okay so i'm going to show you guys some of the things um you know one thing one thing about me guys and and i i have to say this one thing about me is that i never know what to do with the hand with the fist it's like fight the power it's like the baby's always in a weird position with the fist for me I am so weird like that. It's like, what do I do with this fist? <laughs> like, I don't know how to pose it. That's why I'd be like, let me put a, a hand mitt on it. Now, sometimes I let her, like, nibble on hers. But, yeah. Um, so, yeah. So, I love the way her little, she has little kneecaps. He doesn't really have kneecaps. But I try to create create it um as you can see like they're very different in their body forms and stuff like that oh let's see the squish she see she's as big as she is she's still squished just like him and as you can see even though this is not supposed to be like the memory foam type it still is not like a rubbery feel and that's why this one is, this one has a little bit more of a, um, closer to a memory foam. But this one is not too far from it, but it's not the same, but it feels so good. But they're super soft. Both of them are very soft. Um, so his arch, I mean show you her arch she's bigger she's heavier her arch is gonna be not that much because of how thick her inside her belly is and that's where like I'm very picky when it comes to my silicone um now don't get me wrong she's still very very cuddly um I love her I think she's like one of my favorite cuddle babies but one of the things that I, a lot of sculptors like to do is they like to give that baby push, 
belly. I like, that's why I like the squishy tummies in the babies because it'll give them that push when like they, when you lift them up, the stomach kind of push out. Now hers just kind of wrinkle and it, you know, but it doesn't like protrude forward. Um, his same thing. It, it does a little something, but it's, you know, they mostly just wrinkles. So let me show y'all that again. Let me get out the light. They wrinkle a little different too. Um, but if you, um, I, the squishy tummies, they'll like protrude forward and stuff. I don't have one in my collection to show you guys though. But, um, this, um, but when they, when they get, well, I had to think of where I was at with my conversation. But when they make the babies with the huge, thick stomachs like the really fat stomachs that baby is gonna be like so like stiff in the core which is the main part that makes the baby cuddle because when you think about it when you cradle a baby they have to have some type of bend and when they bend they curl up they can curl up to you you see like he he will bend she will bend as well though but not as much as he does but she's a bigger baby too. I mean, you can only go so far. But you see this? How thick this is? If I put Phoebe right here, Phoebe is not that thick in the stomach. Um, but then I don't like the flat pancake. So I know it's gotta be hard for the sculptors to get it to. Okay. Um, sorry, I'm on the the closer side to the road with my house. Um, but anyway, um, I, I know it's gotta be hard to find a happy medium when people are sculpting because I also don't like the little real flat pancake, straight flat back because that also makes them not pose nicely or awkward. Like you, when you, you know, trying to turn them on their side, it just, it don't work as well as a baby that's like got sculpted with a you know more of a curve or an arch or something like that I don't know I'm just real funny about the baby's cuddle factor so I I like for them to be cuddly but I also like for them to be soft and flexible for posing because that's like one of my big big things is taking you know photos of the babies and stuff like that and posing them um, even I think I pose them more than I actually hold them and so the flexibility has to be there for me for me to really really fall for a baby um but yeah sometimes people put that little big hump of a stomach there but all that is is a whole thick bunch of silicone that's not gonna move unless they like pour that like in a different softness to where it it flex um it just makes the baby really stiff and I, I don't I don't like it but that's my personal pet preference um and then there are some people that just don't like the super soft but I'm only can I can only speak for myself I love the super soft I feel like um it's just to me and to me it feels closer to the real thing than the non super soft like I don't think that babies are s stiff I don't think that they are harder. Yeah, I don't feel a bone inside of them. But it's not like when I pick up a real baby, I'm like, oh, let me let me feel your amphibia, your your whatever you call those things. Let me feel this. Let me feel that. I don't I, I don't do that. When you pick up a baby, you just feel the cuddleness of it, and that's what I feel like with the soft babies you get. But that's just my thought process, guys. I. I feel like we need to be careful. We need to protect our money, protect our babies. Um, be careful what you're doing with your babies. Um, if your baby's not sticky or shiny or tacky, you know, I would refrain from using powders. Um, I see people, I know a lot of people use um, the just matte, like after the babies are painted, which I don't see anything wrong with that. But I think you should use it when you need to use it versus just, oh, I'm going to powder my baby today. And that's okay if you choose to, guys. I'm not talking about people 
that choose to do these things. I'm just saying if you want to prolong the, you know, the, the state, the original state, I just personally would not do it, you know, daily or regularly just to be doing it. Um, a lot of this stuff was created for specific reasons or people, we've seen people doing it for specific reasons. And then we, as collectors, decided it was fun to do them and we started doing them for fun. Like giving them a bath was never the intention of let's give the baby a bath because they need to be in the rubber ducky, you know, with the rubber ducky having fun, bath time, role play. That wasn't why they started putting the babies in the bath. First, you have to wash them off to clean them before you start painting them so they were in the bath. Two, you had to wash the lint off because I guess they didn't really have the matting down like they do now where they don't really have much clean into them like they used to. Um, so it's just a lot of different reasons why the mat and, um, I mean, why people was doing that. And then like powdering, I used to love to powder my babies, silicone babies. But back in the day, that's what, you know, you thought was the good idea. And we did it because we liked the silky smooth back then and stuff like that. I personally now don't, don't want my baby's like that silky feel but I don't mind it I I like it sometimes but I like the just a natural feel um but back then I loved it so we would powder it for the silky thing and it was like oh you get the clothes on easier and da da da, da. well now they have the matte if that's what you like the silky feel they have matte powders that give you that silky feel and you don't have to do it because once the artist sent it and matte it, that's fine. The matte powder that a lot of them send home to you is like if you catch a shine spot here or there, you can, you know, dust the baby in that area, which is great. So I think everything does have its purpose, but I think sometimes we do too much. And then when things, other things start to occur, you know, it's like, oh my gosh, you know, the artist didn't do something right or, oh you know, this, that, and then I'm not saying that sometimes things aren't done properly to begin with. I'm just saying that there are some things that are not, that did not start with the artist. It started with the things that you did after you got the doll. And we have to be accountable for our own actions. Um, I have had mommies talk to me and I've had mommies that tell me that, hey, I did this because I didn't know. And I appreciate that. Like, I appreciate the honesty. I appreciate, hey, look, I messed up so-and-so and so. I am not the one that want to, like, take, you know, do this with this doll and do that with that doll. But I do want to try to help mommies, like, keep their babies, you know, as pristine as possible. And still enjoy them. Like, enjoy them. Dress them as much as you want, you know. Just do whatever you want to do with your baby, but at the same time, not damage them um, if you can go, you know, do that. So that is all, guys. I know this is a long video. I know you guys have heard it all before, but, you know, I just, yeah. Um, also, like powdering for the powder for the, the nipples. I'm glad they came up with the KY. Do not use Vaseline. It's a difference, but you use the KY. But I am so glad that they came up with that versus the powder because the powder used to make them look like they had eight white donuts. And now you use a little bit of that and then, yeah. But every so often you have to wipe the build up off because it'll, it'll gook up and you got to like peel it out. Like it's, yeah. But um, as much as I used to love pacifiers and the reason why I collect the babies for pacifiers, I don't really put pacifiers in my baby's mouths that much um i do like them to have the ability to have a pacifier because i want to have the option if i want to give them a pacifier not only that if i want to fake feed them for role play their mouths need to be open i don't want to be buying a silicone with a magnet it's just not my thing i don't feel i feel like if i'm gonna spend silicone money i want all the silicone features i don't want it to 
have a, a silicone like a Reborn. I Reborns take magnets. Silicones should take full pacifiers. That's just my opinion. I said it. Somebody need to say it. People been saying it. I ain't the first. I won't be the last. And there you have it. Thanks guys for watching. And if you want to see the next video, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. See you guys.